Hello everyone, my name's Greta, I'm with Artsphere, and today we are going to be finger painting and talking about the art movement Impressionism. This was a time when artists really started moving away from fine detailed paintings and they started capturing moments and impressions. And so they did this through really quick brush strokes and they started expanding their color palette. So they started using a lot of brighter colors and they started creating dr more dramatic shadow and light through these colors. One of these really influential impressionist artists was named Claude Monet. And he is the artist that we are going to be focusing on today. He created a painting called Water Lilies. And this was, as the title states, a river with floating water lilies. So I thought that we could kind of practice imp our impressionistic techniques and recreate Claude Monet's water lilies through finger painting. So let's start by going over the materials. Um, you're going to need something to paint on. So I'm using a manila folder, but you can also use a paper plate. You can use cardboard if you have panel or canvas, that works perfectly. Um, so something to paint on, you are going to need paint, either acrylic or gouache, and you're gonna need blue, green, pink, red, and yellow. Um, you're gonna need a bowl full of water just so that you can dip your hands in and then clean them off so that you can move on to another color. You're gonna need a paper towel and you are gonna need something to put your paint on. So now we are ready to start and go over the first step. So I just cut my paper down a little bit um, shorter and now we can move right into the first step and that is going to be creating the water. So I wanna make sure that my hands are completely clean and I don't have any jewelry on, so I'm gonna take my ring off. And I am just gonna get my hand a little bit wet just a little bit, you don't want it to be soaked or anything. And I'm gonna go into my blue paint. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my fingers and I'm gonna start in the middle of my paper. And you can go from the, you wanna make sure that you go from the top all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna start kind of in the middle of my paper, just dabbing like this, just quickly dabbing kind of, you can, you know, kind of slide your fingers. You're just doing quick little strokes, maybe get a little bit more water, and you're gonna kind of wind that down the center of your paper. And you don't wanna make this too wide because on the sides, you're gonna have your grassy sections. And you can get some more water and you can kind of like, with the paint that you have, you can kind of just like, thin it out. And I like this look of kind of like thicker paint in some areas and more watery paint in other areas. I think that just adds some like dimension to the water. So I have kind of painted like a base layer of blue and I started smudging just some kind of watered down blue out to the sides because we're just going to blend that in with our grass then. So you can definitely kind of go further out to the sides. Just don't, just make sure you're leaving room for the grassy area. Now we are gonna go in with our pink paint just to highlight our water and blend it into our blue paint. You can just kind of like add some pink specks to it wherever you want. So I finished my water for the time being and I just went in and kind of at the top made that part a little bit wider. And you are gonna be coming back to your water, but for now we are going to let that dry a little bit and move on to the grassy sides. So for this, you are going to want your green paint and your yellow paint. So a little tip I have is 
before you even go in with your yellow or any paint, just take a little bit of green and mix it to your yellow. That way it kind of tones the yellow down a little bit, but it still has that bright um, yellow under base. So now I'm just going to start going in with my green color. Um, and I can get a little bit on, on my finger and I'm just gonna start kind of patting this down like this. So I'm going, when I go in, I am just going to kind of make these um, kind of like wispier, quicker, shorter brush strokes just to get the effect of grass. You can also kind of like press down and make like a finger imprint and that can also look maybe like another type of grass or maybe like some moss that's growing. I have one of my sides painted green and now I'm going to go in with my greeny yellow and I am just going to add some highlights to that. Okay, so I have this side complete with my grass and then my yellow highlight, yellow green highlight. And I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side. So I am all finished with my grass or grassy areas. And then I have my water coming down the center. And now we are going to take our green and our blue paint. And we're just going to kind of blend our colors just across the whole painting. And this is just going to make the painting look a little bit more consistent. It's going to look as if you were really looking at a, a little grassy area in a stream. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blue. Oops. And then my green. And I'm just gonna take my finger and just do like little sections. Like this. So this is kind of all I'm gonna do for the um stream part so it's not a lot it's just again kind of like having a consistency of colors just throughout the painting and then I'm going to clean my finger and move on to my blue so now I'm going to take my blue paint and I definitely don't want a lot of this I just want like it really watered down and I'm just going to kind of like very lightly just tap into some of the places in my um, in my grassy areas. Okay, so now I have all my colors kind of like consistently blended and I can move on to my lily pads. And for this, you are gonna kind of need all your colors. So you're gonna need your red paint, your blue paint, your green paint, your pink paint, your yellow paint. Um, for this, we are going to start off with that greeny yellow. So take a little bit of that. And we're just going to make little dots all over. And these are in the grassy areas and in the watery areas. So you can just kind of make these little sections of lily pads like I'm doing there. Right, right there. Just like little finger impressions. Okay, so I have like a little patch going right here. And then I can um, wash my finger off and I can move on to another color. So now I wanna maybe add a little bit of red to some of my lily pads. And you don't need a lot. And if you get a little bit too much, you can always pick it, pick some back up with your napkin. You want those to be blended. Maybe get a little bit of blue, blend that in. So I have something like this. So it has like a little bit of like all the colors kind of mixed into it. 
and those are going to be kind of the bases of our lily pads and if you want you can even take your green and kind of like smudge a little bit of green underneath to look like the plant part the green base part and again this is impressionism isn't supposed to copy nature exactly as it is it's just supposed to get the impression just kind of like just kind of a um the idea of what it is Alrighty, so i have finished all my little patches of um lily pads and the last step is to just add the flowers with the pink paint and this is just really simple you're just gonna take a little bit of your pink paint and you're just gonna do a tap. And you can just add your flowers wherever you want. You can blend them so that maybe they're a little less obvious or you can have really big little blobs of paint. Um, yeah, that is going to be our last step to finish up this project. So our lesson is all complete. And I think this is a fun one because Impressionism is just such a beautiful way of painting and it just shows so much kind of mood in the painting and so much movement. So I hope this was fun for you guys to try and, you know, get our fingers dirty a little bit. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you all soon.